Hey YouTube, got another video review for you today. Uh, this one is from a company by the name of Living Patriot. And I'm here with my buddy Jake, uh, who is a US Marine Corps man. And we are going to uh, review this product and uh, tell you a little bit of, about it. Uh, if you guys have never seen this product, uh, you're definitely in for a real treat. Uh, if you're an American Patriot, stay tuned to this video because you're gonna like what you, you see. Um, this product here is a, um, it's a prism and the way that it, this come about was the owner of Living Patriot, his name is Don, very nice guy, uh, he had, um, got a gift from his brother-in-law who is a U.S. Marine Corps man and, uh, he, uh, basically got a, uh, a folded up flag and one of those, uh, wooden flag boxes. And so, you know, he looked at the flag and thought, you know what, I can, I can make uh, something better that uh, that that does the flag justice because it's a beautiful flag. And so, uh, you know, he just wanted to uh, put it uh, in display and have it lit up. And this is uh, what he come up with. And uh, I'll go ahead and show you that uh, if you look right up close, that it has uh, 21 223 rounds that border the flag and uh it the work and craftsmanship on this is second to none uh it's a really nice high-end product and uh it you know what more can you say uh it looks it looks really yeah. sharp it does it complements it well but it doesn't they don't come in every prism you know every prism is different this here is this the one. defender 35 prism and they've got different models that that have the shells don't have the shells and you know you, you can choose different flags they're very customizable uh here on the front you could uh put a name i've got the uh come and take it with ar-15 on there and for the the best feature of all is this they light up so you know you can keep the flag on a mantle or on a bookshelf or you know keep it anywhere that you'd like to display it look really nice in an office and uh, so I just think that it's a, a great product and has lots of uses and you know, uh, it'd make a great gift to somebody uh, who's an active serviceman. They, all, they also have uh, different products for um, police officers and firefighters, bo Boy Scouts, anywhere, any, any kind of flag that you would like to display in it, you know, um, you know it, it would work and uh, like I said they're customizable so you can write uh, names and put logos on there so um, it, it's just a, an all-around great gift and we'll rotate this one out so yeah we've also got a, a, a Gadsden uh, don't tread on me flag and we're gonna show you how to uh, remove it it's very simple uh, it's held in with just three little magnetic uh, pieces right here and you just lift the cover off and you can reach in and, and pull the flag out and uh, easily replace it. So if, if you one of those people who uh, only fly your f flag a few times a year, let's say on the 4th of July or you know Memorial Day or whenever, uh, and, and you want to uh, display it on the inside of your house the rest of the time, uh, that would be, you know, th this is a great product for that. And you can see that he switched it out, like I said, to the Gadsden Don't Tread on Me flag. And then this one has a different uh, laser engraving on the front of it. It's got the, uh, the, the rattlesnake, Don't Tread on Me. So anyways, all right, you guys have seen the uh, front side of the flag. And I just wanted to show you what the flag looks like from the side. And you can see that there's uh, several pieces of uh, acrylic and uh, this is really high quality uh, acrylic. It looks really sharp. The, the light uh, really does um, put off a lot of, uh, of glow uh, against that acrylic and it just looks great. Now, uh, here's the back and you can see the, uh, the back of the 223 rounds. And there's a lot of detail that went into this uh, prism, so. You know, it's not like this is uh, some cheap Chinese made uh, piece of junk that you would find on the, uh, the internet. This is uh, an American made uh, product out of St. Louis, Missouri. And they they take a lot of pride in their work and, and it shows. Absolutely, they should, they should take a lot of pride. 
And uh, right here, uh, you can see uh, it's got the spot to uh, plug in the, the nine and a half foot uh, cord. And uh, it just plugs in. And I have it uh, hooked up to a, a wireless remote control. And you can pick these up at Home Depot, and all, all that you do is just plug, um, you know, you can use it for anything, but you just plug the uh, flag into here, and then it has a wireless uh, remote that uh, talks to the transmitter back and forth, and uh, you're able to turn the flag on and off. And it's, it's that simple. Uh, and I'll go ahead and show you. You can just hit the button, and uh, turns it back on and uh, off. So anyways, um, it's a great product. And, uh, you know, like I said a while ago, um, Living Patriot wants to be uh, known for, you know, uh, honoring their, um, their heroes that are alive. But they do offer um, a product uh, for the uh, soldiers or servicemen that, um, you know, paid the ultimate sacrifice. And they, there's, they actually make a prism that is um, actually bigger than this one because this one here holds the three by five flag, uh, the the uh, the spirit prism for it's the. A, yes, the spirit five ninety five. Spirit five ninety five. Five by nine and a half flag. So. So. It's mean, pretty. It's a pretty big. It's a pretty big prism to honor, honor you know, fallen fallen heroes. So that's pretty cool. I mean, but I mean, think about how many prisms they have that that honor you know either active duty service members or, or veterans or or uh you know law enforcement um uh, you know i mean firefighters pu pu you know public service i mean you know you got you guys out there and, and you know men and women every day you know risking their lives so it's a good way to honor them to uh to award them you know for their service and uh, you know people getting out uh, getting out of the military or, you know, retiring, you know, people retiring or, you know, anniversaries. It's, it's pretty cool. There's, I mean, there's, there's, there's so many out there. I don't know that the one for uh, law enforcement comes with, um, nine millimeter rounds in, in it, uh, all sorts of different sizes, uh, different amounts of, of rounds. So it's, it's, it's pretty cool. With, it's pretty cool what they're doing. It's a good way to, good way to represent, uh, a service member or, or somebody in, in a public, public safety position that, uh, you know, um, in a good way, so. All right, guys, so I'm sitting here with my buddy, Jake, and uh, he's a former U.S. Marine, and I just wanted to ask him a few questions for you guys at home, and I've got a special surprise for him at the very end, so make sure you wanna watch this video to the very, very end. So, anyways, Jake, uh, what, was your, what was your rank in the Marine? Uh, I was a Lance Corporal in the Marine Corps. I served honorably from 2006 to 2010. And so, my, my, my MOS, which is Military Occupational Specialty, basically my job, uh, was 0311, which is infantry. Um, infantry has a few different positions. A 03 is the main infantry, or 03 is the main infantry uh, field. But, you know, so 0311 would be compact, com, contract infantry, you know, ground pounders, boots in, boots in the dirt, and you know, then you have your mortar men and machine gunners and uh, assault men and guys like that. So Okay. Where were you stationed at? I was stationed in uh, Marine Corps Base Hawaii. Uh, so I got out of boot camp in Paris Island uh, in March of 2007 and went to School of Infantry in Camp Geiger, North Carolina. And beginning of, be, beginning of June, uh, we got shipped out to Canyon Lake Bay. Hawaii. So, how many times were you deployed? I deployed twice: once to Iraq and once to Afghanistan. So, participated in both OIF and OEF. Uh, Iraq, I was stationed in Karma, and Afghanistan, I was stationed in Gulistan, which is in the Far Province, and uh, did both those tours pretty much back to back. Seven, seven, seven and a half month tours. Come back for you know eight months to a year to do a workup. And then I went to Afghanistan because the terrain is different. And, you know, deployments are different. You know, different countries, different atmosphere. I mean, different. You know, different fighting forces. One's Taliban in Iraq, and was insurgents, or insert. You know, different insurgents in Iraq, and then the Taliban in the mountains in Afghanistan. So you know, but it wasn't more. It wasn't as much as a. You know, you going over there. You know, five. You're going over there to. You know, 
help the local populace and you know if you run into combat you while you're trying to be a US Marine you know kick down doors and you know what did you uh, enjoy the most about the military enjoy the most about the military gosh I don't know definitely not the food Matt gosh the food is terrible but uh, the thing I enjoyed most was probably the friendships camaraderie uh, that I had you know um, uh, you know, you had somebody, you know, you have, you say you have somebody watching your six, and that's, you know, it's a fact over there. If you don't, you know, you die, you die. So the camaraderie, you know, having somebody that, you know, you take a bullet for you, you take a bullet for them, you know, like family, you know, never really had, you know, a close knit, you know, family or friends with anybody really, you know, that are, you know, care for or loved. And if, you know, that's, that's what I've got when I joined the Marine Corps, and that's the thing I like most, you know, it's just a, just a companionship you, you grow from, you know, from, from these men that are, you know, these 18 year olds that go in and they're joining out of high school, going and, you know, sort of fighting for the country. That's what I did, you know, and I saw, you know, like, like, blackness in that, you know, so that's what I probably like the most. And he's got a picture right here uh, from when uh, he first joined. Yeah, uh, this was boot camp. I was graduated March 23rd, 2000, 2007, so I was in platoon 1016. That's Alpha Company at Ferris Island, so fun times. So, good thing boot camp only lasts 12, 12 weeks. So, good thing about Marine Corps boot camp though, is Matt, is you, if you do Marine Corps boot camp, if you're going to do a, like a lat move or train or move, switch to a different branch of service, you don't have to do their boot camp. And Marine Corps is the only one that does that. You go join the Army, you want to go to the Marine Corps, you got to do their full boot camp. So, that's the cool thing about joining the Marine Corps. But, why would you go to the Army after boot, after Marine Corps, you know? Once a Marine, always a Marine, that's what I say. So. So me and Jake spent a lot of nights up talking about, you know, uh, all his stories from the military days and all that kind of stuff. And, uh, you know, he worked for the State Department and did private contracting for them. And, uh, but a lot of the stories that stick out in my mind are from uh, boot camp. Uh, and he does one hell of an impression of uh, his drill sergeant. And I'm gonna let him do some funny stuff here <laughs> while I, uh, <coughs> Go get his surprise. So you know, uh, <laughs> what, what was your boot camp like? You know, most of the time. Let me get out of the way. You know, boot camp. Most of the time, you're just getting yelled at. You know, you got drill instructors. Uh, you have your senior drill instructor, who's kind of like your you know mama hen. He'll protect you. Then you got your kill hats. So you know, you do something wrong, they're just gonna scream at you. You know, hey, y'all bro, get on the ground, y'all bro. You know, put your neck in the dirt, do some push-ups. You know, faster, faster, faster. So, I mean, that's boot camp, you know, it never stopped. And that was the, <clears throat> I don't know, I like, I like boot camp. You, I didn't have much friends in high school, so you made friends. You made friends, and uh, a lot of the people that I was in boot camp with, I, I served in Iraq with. And a few of those guys I served in Afghanistan with. So, you know, you build your friendships there, you build your camaraderie, and, uh, and you know, training. You know, you've got to pay attention to your training because the people that you think you're just running around with, you know, with shaved heads, in boot camp, right fresh out of high school, you know, you don't expect three years later to be, you know, hiking the mountains, mountains in Afghanistan, you know, searching caves and, you know, that's, that's, you know, and we were in a position in Afghanistan and the bourgeois boss passed and, uh, you know, I was there with two guys I went to boot camp with. So, you know, um, you just never know. So, you know, always put your, uh, just always put your best foot forward. And that's the thing about boot camp is they tell, tell you, you know, don't, you know, don't do something that, you know, that, don't fail in training because if you're out somewhere and something happens, you're gonna revert back to your lowest level of training. So always give it your best. And that's what boot camp kind of teaches you, you know? So, so I'm gonna sneak in the picture here and Jake knows I have a surprise for him, but uh, he don't know exactly what it is. But uh, I just wanted to present Jake with this for his service. And uh, this is from Don at Living Patriot. He wanted to give this to Jake, and uh, let me go ahead and get it lit up. And let me move this one out of the way so you can take a look at it all lit up. United States Marine Corps, Lance Corporal Jake Yarbrough. Is that not cool, buddy? That is, that is one hell of a gift right there. Look at that. <laughs> well, I think it looks really sharp. Uh, you know, I couldn't get myself one without getting him one. And so, you know, I reached out to Don and, uh, he was like, I told him about Jake and, uh, his grandfather being a, 
uh, Vietnam War veteran and a, you know just a total hero. And uh, he was like, sure, I've, I've, I've got to do something for him. And so, uh, yeah, he sent this one out and uh, put the uh, laser engraving on there with the uh, Marine Corps logo and, and Jake's name on it. And uh, I think it looks amazing. Oh, man. <laughs> That's fantastic. That's something special right there. All right, guys. So I appreciate you guys watching this video. I really do. Please like and subscribe. And, uh, you know, hey, uh, down below, uh, I'll put a link in the description so you can find these products. It's a, it's a special link uh, that uh, it's attached to me. And so it'll help uh, put a little bit of money going towards my channel to help it grow. And so make sure you, you click on that link and it'll take you to uh, Living Patriots website. So uh, anyways, guys, like I said, I really do appreciate you watching the videos. And uh, please like and subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. And, uh you huge, know. huge thanks to Matt, huge thanks to Don, and I mean, huge thanks to all the veterans and service members, men and women out there that, you know, day in and day out, uh, no no gratitude can ever be given that is, that is worth it. And, and this is something that you can give that is truly special, and I mean, it's, it's amazing. Thank you. See you guys.